Hey, what's going on guys? Yellow S2K VTech here and uh, I got quite a few messages and some comments asking me to make a tutorial video on how to make a Minecraft server. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd hop on and kind of run through the basic basic steps of it. And uh, it's really not that hard of a process, but there's some, some different little steps and things that are that you can easily mess up on. Um, and I actually messed up on for quite a while before I kind of figured out what I needed to do. So, But it, it, it's really not that tough. So um, first thing you need to do is come to your desktop and create a new folder and type it, make it called server YouTube. I mean server whatever, whatever you wanted to call it. Minecraft server, doesn't matter. So you get that folder there and then you're going to bring up your internet browser and you're going to type in whoa um, you're going to type in bucket b u k k i t I'll put the link in the description bucket.org and uh, it's going to bring up bucket uh there uh, the way to go <laughs> um i i've tried quite a few different places to make servers and only come out with problems um bucket seems to do a great job and uh, it's pretty user friendly to be honest with you. Once you get it made, um, you can come over and do all these plugins or uh, mods, and they all work wonderfully with the program. So yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty easy, and they seem like some pretty cool guys. So anyway, what you need to do is come over to these the, this top right corner over here, recommended builds. Um, you want to do like the latest recommended build. Um, right now I'm running 7.33, so I know that works, and um, so I'm going to do that just for the purposes of the video and um, I've used it and no, no problem but you need to just check out the latest recommended build uh, they're also similar and there's just little tweaks but it, it, it's all good so anyway we're going to do uh, recommended build 733 for this video but um, if you're watching this at a later time uh, it doesn't matter for the, it doesn't mess up the process you just need to do the latest recommended build um, so what, you're going to come down here and you're going to look I'll maximize this so you can see hopefully but uh, right here uh, craft bucket slash zero dot zero dot one slash snapshot dot jar. Um, they they're all they're all titled snapshot dot jar. That's what you need to look for the jar file. So uh, right here you need to you need to click on that and th this is all you really need off off this website here. Um, but you need to click save once it comes up and go to your desktop and then you need to save this to the folder we just made on our desktop server do server YouTube. Um, that's what I named mine. So you need to save it. Uh, it's going to do run through a little I mean, real fast download here. And once this is done, there we go. Click close. Don't open it. If you open it, it throws all these files all over your desktop and it's a bitch. So um, just close this for now. Um, we don't need um, bucket anymore, but I'm going to minimize this. Actually, yeah, I'll exit out of that. But um, we don't need it anymore. So what you need to do now is pull up your server or the fo the file that we created on your desktop. Um, and what you need to do is uh, once you see this, your, the file that we just saved into here, uh, a lot of you won't see the dot jar here once it's in here, and that's just a shitty problem with uh, Windows. It comes default this way, I think. Uh, at least mine was, and I know a lot of people have this problem. So if you don't see dot jar, you need to do this quick step. Uh, go to your start menu and search. Uh, actually, sorry guys. Um, you need to just click on your control panel. That's an easier way to get to it. So go to your control panel, and you need to search folder options. Okay, and then you need to click change search options for files and folders. Um, it'll bring up this little window here. Uh, you need to click on the view tab, and once you get to the view tab, you need to scroll down just a tiny bit. There's there's a box here that's usually checked, um, and you need to make sure it's unchecked. Uh, it's called Hide Extensions for Known File Types. It's a stupid thing that Windows does, and it makes it where you can't see the file extensions, like uh, .jar or different ones that you're familiar with. Um, but uh, you need to make sure that box, Hide Extensions for Known File Types, is unchecked. Uh, this is a major way people make problems, or make problems. <laughs> people have problems with this step. So anyway, make sure that's unchecked. Okay, so once you have this and you see the dot .jar, you come here and either delete this beginning part or rename it craftbucket.jar. Okay, so once you have that, you need to right-click, New, Text Document. 
Okay, we're going to title this Run Server. Uh, you can title it whatever you want, but this is, uh, you're going to be using this. So uh, it's, it's what you click on to run your server. So whatever you want to call it. Um, but what you need to do now is I have this written out. I'm going to put this in the description. You need to copy it from the description and come to this runserver.txt and you want to edit that file. Um, and you want to paste in what's in the description, what you copied. You want to paste it in there and go file save as. Okay, once you have the file save as, you need to come here and you don't want to save it as a dot txt you want to save it as dot bat okay and you want to make sure it's saved into the folder that we were just in your server folder and you're going to click save okay so there it is um, once you have that it's it there's not really a whole lot you need to do um, what basically all it does this the, what we typed in or what you're copying into that run server folder or uh, file is what makes it run this your dot bat file is gonna run this craft bucket dot jar so what you need to do now is double click on your run server dot bat and it's gonna generate your world now um, it's generating a world just like any single player world so it's endless and um, yeah, I've actually had some pretty good success. Every everything I've generated from this has been just awesome. So, but anyway, you once you have that, your whole uh, file in here, or your whole folder, it you just notice a bunch of files just got put into it. Um, you don't really need to mess with any of them except for ops.txt. Um, you need to click on that. And it's going to bring up your notepad. Um, and then you type, need to type in your username on Minecraft. So, uh, for instance, mine is yellow S2K VTech. And you need to click File, Save. Just your name. I mean, you can do put other people in, and it will give them all the uh, privileges that you have, such as server, I mean, uh, just little things in the game. Nothing, nothing crazy, like as in running the server and things like that. But... Uh, in game. So anyway, you need to make sure your name is in there and it's saved. So um, and w once you have that, uh, you have the whole area generated and you basically have your server. Um, so what all you need to do right now, we're going to click. Make sure that this is uh, you clicked on your folder uh, on this. Sorry, on your uh, run folder here. Uh, you need to click stop. If you click so stop, it saves everything. And if you just exited out of that, it would you'd be nowhere. You'd be partially screwed <laughs> but anyway so now that that's gone we we have our server now you just need to make sure that the other people can connect to your server and the way you do that is called port forwarding it's not that bad of a process but a lot of people have troubles with it and I actually had troubles with it when I was first starting so hopefully I can explain it somewhat clearly kind of fast <laughs> um, it's really not that bad, but you need to come to your start folder, or shit, <laughs> your, your start button, whatever, and you need to come down here and type in CMD. It'll bring up your command window. And once you have this command window up, you need to type in ipconfig, so I-P-C-O-N-F-I-G, and hit enter. And you need to look at what your default gateway is. Um, and what you need to do is come to your internet browser and in your URL where you type in your URL I think that's what this is called <laughs> um, you need to type in your default gateway IP address I guess but it just says it's called default gateway so mine 192.168.1.1 okay so you hit, hit enter and you're going to get a little window that pops up to be able to sign in. And you're basically signing into your wireless router um, or your router at all. Um, so this is a part, kind of a tricky part. Um, you need to figure out what your password is for your router. And you can do that easily by searching Google. Uh, type in, say, Netgear router um, default passwords. And there's a big list of them. There they're everywhere that that list of 
And uh, for instance, there's ones that are you leave the top, the username or whatever, um, blank, and the password will be admin, or it'll be admin username, admin password, and uh, whatever. But y you'll have to figure that out. Um, most likely, it'll be the default for everyone. Uh, most people don't change this. Um, so yeah, but and if you did, you'll know your password. But anyway, so I have mine saved. So uh, I mean, I've changed it, so I have it saved. But um, you need to click OK. Uh, sign in, and when you get to it, I have a Linksys router. So you, those of you with different routers, it will you'll have different setup on this on this page. But what you need to find is something like applications and gaming, like here, or something that says port forwarding, because that's what we're doing here. You need to click on Applications and Gaming or, or the like, whatever yours is. And you need to come over here. For, for mine, you need to type, I, I type, you can name this whatever. You need to open up a port is basically what we're doing. And um, mine's titled Minecraft. And you need to type in these two numbers. There's a start and end part of it. I mean, every, every single one has it. It should be pretty straightforward. But you need to type in 25565 for your start and your end here. So 25565. Uh, I hope you guys can see that. But um, And you need to make sure it's a TCP protocol, I guess. Uh, protocol? <laughs> Whatever. But uh, you need to make sure it's a TCP. And then, this is the only other kind of tricky part here, uh, where it says IP address. Uh, it's You need to finish off. There's, see there's this box here? You need to make sure that this corresponds with your IPv4 address. Uh, this will be in your command part that we brought in, your IP config that we had up to see our default gateway. So this is where this is just the same window I had up before. IPv4 address. And you see it's exact same up on the over here. It's exact same uh, beginning part and you need to fill in the last two. So for instance mine the last two of my IPv4 address is point Five zero, so I put that in here, and um, finished that off, and checked it, enabled it to make sure whatever your setup is on for your router, you need to make sure that it's opened, um, enabled, or set to go. So, um, and then you just save the settings once you have that in there. Um, and now the only other step that you need to do to make sure that you can connect to your server is you need to, I'm going to close this, we don't need that anymore, but um, you need to figure out what your IP address is. Um, and you can do that by going to what's my IP dot net. I'll put that in the description as well. And uh, I'm not going to do it for the purpose of, I mean, it's, uh, it, all it is is you click enter and it brings up and it brings up your IP. So uh, not a big deal, but, and that's what you type into YouTube or shit, sorry, I just had YouTube up. But uh, that's what you type in to Minecraft. I'll pop it up here so you can see. But, um, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. But when, when, once you, you're going to click on multiplayer, and you have to type something in, an IP address to be able to, to log in to the server. And you need to type in your IP address. And that's what you need to tell everybody else to log into your server. I believe there's other ways so they don't see your IP address. But uh, it really doesn't matter. Um, but anyway, so that's basically the rundown. So um, to run your server, you do the same thing. You come over and you type, click on your runserver.bat, and there's our server. Um, and you'll just bring up Minecraft now that you have the server running and connect to your IP address that you typed in, and you should be good to go. Um, the only other thing that you need to know, make sure you always click stop to uh, save once you're done with your server or you want to you wanna quit for the day or whatever. But um, down here, there's server properties. If you open this up, there's uh, a list of different things you can change here. Uh, I really don't change any of these, to be honest with you, because it's the way I play. But uh, uh, spawn monsters, you can either have it be true or false. Um, it, these are all the default, but you can change these here. But yeah, just take a look through these, and you can add a whitelist if you know what that is, and different things. But don't really, you don't really need to do anything with that. So um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any problems or questions or anything that maybe I could have uh, overlooked, uh, please let me know. And I hope this helps you out. Um, but yeah, post a comment. Hopefully, let me know if this helped you. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you're liking videos like this as well as Minecraft videos and some other stuff. So anyway, guys, uh, until next time, I'll see you later. Peace out.